Welcome back shooters. This time we're going to be talking about the kind of uh, trigger stages that are there on the markets. A couple of times when I've been to gun shows or gun stores, I see rookies or movies uh, trying to buy their first time guns and they really don't know which one is going to be the best for them. That's why uh, this video so I'm kind of try to orient you on which one would be the best option. Uh, when you go to the store and then you grab a gun, the single stage is going to work pretty much like this. You rack your AR and then you press your trigger and it breaks. There is no wobble, there is no play, there is no slack over here. Your two stage trigger is gonna work like this one on the bottom. You're gonna have a little bit of play or slack over here, however you prefer to call it. And then when you keep pressing, you're gonna break the shot. Your pistols is very common. The majority of them, they will have a two stage. You play with it. Till you only hit the wall and then you break, the shot breaks. The majority of the designated marksman rifle, like the one on the back, I made a review what a designated marksman rifle would be, you can build. Uh, please go ahead and check it out. The people prefer the single stage because they don't have any wobble or play over here, they just break the shot. Uh, also long range shooters, PRS, extreme long range shooters, they prefer single stage. Some others uh, say two stage, it's just a matter of preference. The majority of the uh, civilian AR platform, they come from the factory with a single stage. A lot of people, they opt to upgrade to a, for a two stage. It's just a matter of curiosity. Somebody telling them it's better or not. It's just coaching, you know, marketing. So it's just while the majority of the pistols from the market, they come with a two stage. You're going to have your blade slack or wobble and then you break the shot. Uh, respect handguns, even because they have the six pound trigger pull weight, they're pretty much accurate up to 50 yards, 100 yards if you are using the full size uh, handguns. So I kind of have a lot of respect for handguns. The two stage is gonna be what most of the military AR, AR uh, platform is gonna come from the factory. It's gonna be issued to the, the uniform personnel because of the ready, set, fire, hold it a situation that there will be whenever they're, they're in the middle of a man ambush or hostage a situation so they can have a more play over here. It is more a forgiving than the single stage. A, a lot of hunters, they prefer the two stage for the, their bolt actions because a, if it was raining and then the temperatures start getting freezing, they can play a little bit with their trigger mechanism and prevent it from uh, getting freezing so a lot of bolt actions uh, for hunting purposes they make like a two-stage configuration or something that simulates a two-stage kind of trigger like the Savage, the Rugers and a lot of them they have like a two-stage kind of triggers. I would say that neither one is better than the other I would say it's just a matter of preference and practice. If, if I used to practice a lot with a single stage, a teeny, they have a single stage a trigger for Remington 700 that I had in the past, and I really, really loved it because it was kind of wide. It was a, black, a wide blade, and it has like a serrations in the middle. And I really loved it, but it was a single stage. I tried the two stage a teeny trigger, and I upgraded for a two stage because I just I was curious, and then I got used to a two stage, and that's my current preference. But I know a lot of people who are way better shooter than I am with a single stage because that's what they practice with. Uh, this is a designated marksman rifle. This is a design for exclusively the gun a range for practice or for hunting from a platform. It is a modified AR with a longer barrel than 16, a faster twist rate. You have a scope mounted on the top so you can do your follow through or your heavier bullets than your average 62 grain. I would say for first time home buyer, I wouldn't recommend uh, the singles, the, I mean the two stage because they are kind of like a little bit of tricky people. I personally, I do not have the best trigger discipline when I'm uh, playing with any of my bolt action or AR platform with two stage because I know I'm going to be monkeying around a little bit with this. So I know that what it takes before the shot breaks. So if you are, if you have way better discipline than I have with the two stage trigger, yes, go ahead, go for a two stage, but be careful because they can be tricky. I might be already loaded. So 
it's just a matter of uh, preference. There is no one better than the other. It's pretty much a, whichever you're going to be practicing the most. Uh, please don't forget to uh, leave your comments below. Which one do you prefer and why? Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe among uh, for upcoming videos. You'll have a wonderful day.